Okay, so I figured out how to do NURBS curves and set driven key so that they can co co coexist together. So it's a it's kind of a hard process, but all I know is let me do it on the thumb because it's like the easiest area I can access it. I made sure each each NURBS curve has its own group. Now the hierarchy, how I'm doing it right now is wrong. I found out that. So I have to parent this with that. It has to look like staircases almost. Okay, sorry. And then let me just, I believe that should be okay. And these already are parent constraint, are they or are they not? Yes, they are. So now, I think I can I just have to remember the groups. They all go into a staircase. Okay, let me do set driven key real quick to show that it will co coexist. So thumb, the driver, thumb. I'm gonna select. I usually select the groups for the set driven key because um I don't want my main curves to have like blue attributes to them. It shows there's a connection. So we're gonna key. I believe this is correct. Key. Yes, okay. And then I'm gonna say that's how it is on default. And at 10, when the attribute is at 10, it is going to, because we won't ever see the, we won't ever see the group. We don't select groups, so it should work. Okay, yes, I think it did. Let me go to Windows, Animation Graph Editor. Let me select my groups and automize the tangents, automize. So let me see. Yes, I think it's working. And then also I could just individually select each of my, yes, it's working. So that's how they do it. Instead of doing, oh, I get it. Okay, so it's a specific order, but like I said, it has to be a staircase. You have to like, obviously we're taught to parent this, to parent that, but we have to make groups for each of them, which is what I did here. And then this NURBS curve is obviously parented under its group. And this group I've, Thought we had to parent it to the other group, but no, that's incorrect. You have to parent it. You have to parent it under the NURBS curves of the next joint, and then this will automatically already be under its group. If it's not, then you just have to make sure to drag this curve under under here. But it's already going to be like, oh, it's already a child. Okay, and then this group has to be under the NURBS curve. So it's like you have to group is a child, and then um. The parent is the curve, and then the curb in the next step becomes the child to the parent. That's insane. I, I figured it out. I don't think this would work. Oh, it does work. Okay, but either way, I'm not using that. But um, so let's say. I want to curl my finger, but I'm like, oh, this could be curled a bit more. I have the functionality to do that now because of this step. Thank you for watching.